what was the best decision that you ever made? Okay, I'm going to qualify this, though, guys, because I think we can all say, you know, the decision for Christ, right? Asking right. him to be our Savior. So that can't be so the absent answer. absent of that. Absent of that. Yeah. What is the best decision that you've ever made? Darren first. Wow. Don't forget your wives are listening. Well, <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I was going to say, my, you know, my, uh, Jesus is, no, is number one, and, and my wife is number two for sure. Um, but looking at my life, if we, look, if we look past those two, which are the most important decisions I've ever made, uh-huh. um, and, and I, I'm, I'm not skipping uh, my wife because it's, cl- it's cliche. I just I think if you ask any self-respecting uh, person, that, those would be their answers, right, right. Jesus right. and their spouse. Um, but as I look at the course of my life, I'd say the most important decision I made, uh, because there's a lot of decisions I should have made or, or could have done better or, or just plain mistakes that I made. Uh-huh. But the most important decision I made was coming out of coming out of uh, high school, into college, into career. Um, and interestingly enough, these decisions also led me to my wife, which mm-hmm. was a great decision. But, but it was surrendering my career slash uh, future to the Lord. He mm. had asked me coming, he had spoken, you know, God speaks to everyone different, but he speaks to me silently, kind of the Holy Spirit. I just kind of hear the Holy Spirit inside of me quietly. Mm-hmm. That inner quiet voice. I pursued, mm-hmm. he, he said to pursue music, mm-hmm. uh, to leave school and pursue music. And I, people thought I was crazy. Mm-hmm. I was a year away from my doctorate degree. Um, but I was obedient to that. And there was lots of hard work in the early years, but God used that to lay the entire foundation for everything else that's, that's gone in my life. Wow, that's wow. awesome. So By the way, what was that your... was probably the most significant decision outside of Jesus in my life. Wow. What was your doctorate in, by the way, if you don't mind me asking, Darren? Oh, it was in music. Uh, oh, in music. Okay, saxophone, gotcha. Saxophone, classical and jazz saxophone. Okay, so now Ron, uh, absent probably as Darren has, uh, you know, politely set up as far as Christ and then the wife— what is the next best decision that you've ever made? Well, uh, I love Darren's answer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm going to take uh, that one. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Well, um, the best decision I've made, um, aside of Christ and my wife, second, um, is forgiving myself. Oh, wow. Oh, that's powerful. Powerful, yeah. Yeah, um, that's good. Because I, I had, uh, as you guys know, I, I talked about him. Uh, other shows, I have a very powerful testimony of yes, you do. Uh, a few instances of where the Lord, uh, I mean, not the Lord, I'm sorry, the enemy has tried to take my life in mm-hmm. certain circumstances, and and uh, a couple of those circumstances were um, because of me and me not following the path of the Lord before I uh, got saved and all that good stuff. And um, if it weren't for me, actually. Yeah, after after the Lord saved me, it was it was with His help. If it wasn't for me be having the ability to forgive myself, I wouldn't have met my my wife. You know. Oh right. wow! So everything everything that's transpired um, in my life that has been good has been because of me being able to forgive myself and move forward with life. And and uh, I'm so thankful for that uh, ability to do that because a lot of people can't do that. Right. Wow. wow. Very powerful. Ooh. I love both your guys' answers. Yeah, Amazing. Forgiveness is a powerful word. And, yeah. order, and order my footsteps. That's Amen. The, when I hear what they both said, he ordered my footsteps so that I could forgive myself.